arms. Any time. So this is hard to actually connect to his hip. Because some it can be. Because there's not, I'm on the side. Try to sort of. So, so where this comes in is it's this. Yeah, I'm going to try and use that to pull. If I've got, if he's got a gear or a hem, hooks in first, then put this in. And whenever you get the hook, bottom hook goes high. This is opposite here. Here, this is much easier for him to quit. Yeah. Can I say over? I'm going to keep the knee here, like we always talk about. So, you can body lock if you want, I don't like it on my knees. But I try and minimise the gap between my heel and my knee. So I want my heel up by his hip, and my knee as close as possible to it. You can also do this. The point is, I want no gaps. If you go, if you go like into this, you can start trying to clear his arm. Right? But, the key bit here is you go high with the hips. Make all your same principles that, that, like, that we know from fundamental jiu-jitsu are the same. So when I'm coming up here, I really want to throw my hip. Do whatever you can. See how my hips are off the ground? Do whatever you can to get to that as close to that far hip bone as you can get. Yeah? You can play around with switching the legs, circling. You go this way. But you've got to get that right up. You want, the, you want that foot. If you can, get it to the elite press. Yeah? Let's go.